my top five Naruto villains. Naruto has lots of villains, some very interesting, some not so much. Today I'll be ordering who I think is the best villains in Naruto. And no, I don't mean the strongest villains, you f***ing power scalers. This will be based on who I think played the role of a villain the best. So go ahead and punch that like button and let's get into it. Number five. At number five, I have Obito. Obito made his turn from hero to villain when he witnessed the death of Ren. Since then, Obito has pretty much done every evil act you could think of. But can you blame the guy? The man got friend zoned, crushed by a boulder, met this evil motherfucker, and then saw his best friend send his crush to the gulag. Down bad isn't the word anymore. He responded by attacking the village with the nine tails, helping Itachi slaughter the Uchiha clan, and starting the fourth grade ninja war. Okay, maybe he did go a little too far. Number four. At number four, I got Orochimaru. Orochimaru is a real ass ninja. The man is a complete savage. And one of the reasons I have him at four is because how creepy this motherfucker was. Holy <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I had to watch actual cartoons after seeing this motherfucker just so I can go to sleep without nightmares. This was just a real twisted guy. The man killed countless kids, two kages, and ruined countless lives. Why? Because he wanted to learn new jutsu. Number three. At number three, I have Itachi. Guys, I know, he's not really a villain. I get it. Cool. But before we knew that, this motherfucker was cold. My first time seeing him, I legitimately fangirled. He was so damn dreamy. Not only that, he was a complete savage. The man stabbed Kakashi for three days, and then he bought Sasuke front row seats to watch his parents die. Not once not twice but over 500,000 times in a span of 72 hours the man specialized in every form of abuse I get what they say he was doing it for but come on none of this shit is justifiable number two at number two I got Madara Madara is definitely one cool mother first off his transition to being a villain makes a lot of sense to me he's seen firsthand how shit the world can be so many fucking tragedies happen and a lot of times there's nothing anybody can do about it so his goal was to make everybody live in a dream world away from violence and evil sounds legit to me and don't even get me started on his debut him standing on top of that mountain with his arms crossed and then jumping down to f everything up sh was epic. I when he asked the Kage if they wanted his clones to use Susano, the man's a goat. Number one. And at number one, we have Pain. Pain is the best villain in Naruto, hands down. First off, he has probably the most memorable look in the show. The hair, the headband, the rod piercings, just all around flames. And he's probably one of the best written characters in all of Naruto. You can legitimately feel bad for him, even after he drops a fucking nuke on the Leaf Village. And not only that, he's the main contributor of the best arc in Naruto. Jiraiya's death, Kashi's death, he not a confessing her love for Naruto. Naruto and Naruto meeting his dad, enough can say. So yeah, that's my top five villains in Naruto. If you guys think I missed anybody, let me know in the comments. Or if you have any other top five ideas, let me know. And as always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for exclusive content. Boot out.